In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do question number one or problem number one on the handout on Padlet. All right, so um, stoichiometry, gram to gram stoichiometry, always starts off with a balanced chemical equation, and I've given that to you already. Those coefficients in front of the NH, the, the coefficients in orange in front of each of the chemicals uh, will be used to produce our molar ratios. Um, let's go ahead and read the question. It says, a student chemist reacted 20 grams of NH3 with an excess amount of oxygen gas. How many grams H2O will she produce? So let's create our known and unknown table. All right, so we've got, we know a couple things, right? 20 grams NH3. We're looking, though, and we start with what we don't know, right? Uh, we're looking for grams H2O, so we're going to put that into our unknown column. That 20 grams of NH3 goes into our known column. So in this problem, we care about NH3 and we care about H2O. So let's go ahead and start finding those other three numbers that we're going to need in our known table. We need the starting mass, we need a molar ratio, and we need two molar masses. Let's find them. Okay, so we care about NH3 and H2O. Um, all right, so let's take a look at the coefficients in front of the NH3. We've got four NH moles of NH3 for every six moles of H2O produced. That sounds a lot like a fraction, so we're going to go ahead and write that into a fraction. And that's our molar ratio, four moles NH3 per six moles H2O. All right, now we've got to figure out the molar masses of a couple things. Let's figure out the molar mass of NH3. How do we do that? We're going to need a periodic table. The molar mass, uh, or atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 grams per mole, and the atomic mass of a hydrogen is 1 gram per mole, but I have three of them. So we're going to add up 14 grams per mole, plus 1 gram per mole, plus 1 gram per mole, plus 1 gram per mole. When we add them all together, we get the molar mass of NH3, which is 17 grams NH3 per mole NH3. Notice how I also label all of those units. I don't just say grams per mole, I say grams NH3 per mole NH3. All right, let me just erase this so I have some more room. All right, now we're going to do the molar mass of H2O. That's the other one that we care about. All right, H2 is made up of two hydrogens and one oxygen. The molar mass of one hydrogen is one gram per mole, but water has two hydrogens, so we're going to add another gram per mole. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16, so its molar mass is 16 grams per mole. And if we add up all of those, we get 18 grams H2O per mole H2O. I'll write that into our known table. All right, we've got our four numbers, and now we're going to go ahead and start to solve the stoichiometry problem. We are looking for grams of H2O. And so I come over to the numbers that I know, and I find that unit, gram H2O, that's going to be my first fraction. And since gram H2O is already on the top, I don't need to flip it. Let's write it out. All right. I've got to now cancel out that mole H2O on the bottom of that first fraction. So I come back over to my known table, and I find it. There it is. Six mole H2O is on the bottom of that fraction. We need to be able to cancel out that mole H2O from the other one. So I've got to flip that upside down. Write that out. We're manipulating the numbers. Okay, now we've got to get rid of that mole in NH3. So we come back over to our known table. We find it. We're going to manipulate the fraction so that mole NH3 is on top. We'll flip it. It means that 17 grams NH3 is on the bottom. Now we've got to cancel out that 17 grams NH3. And we can do that by multiplying it by 20 grams NH3, which is what the... Uh, the problem told us we started with, right? We're going to multiply 20 grams in H3, and we put that over 1 to make it look like a fraction. Order of operations, well, let's get ahead of myself. Now we're going to cancel out mole H2O over mole H2 cancels. Mole NH3 and mole NH3 cancels. Gram NH3 and gram NH3 cancels. Order of operations says that we have to multiply the top and bottom separately before we divide. So 18 grams H2O times 6 times 1 times 20 over 1 times 4 times 17 times 1. Multiply those together, we get 2,160 grams H2O on the top and 68 on the bottom. This is now a division problem because there's a number on the bottom. 
So we type this into our calculator. Moving from the top down, 2160 divided by 68 is equal to 31.8 grams H2O. Every single stoichiometry problem you'll ever come across is always, well, gram to gram at least, is always the same. You always, <clears throat> you always need the same four numbers, and it's really actually all, always in the same exact order if you uh, start to pay attention to that. Um, I'll be back on Thursday to answer any of your questions, but try to do today's assignment and Wednesday's assignment on your own by watching the videos again if you need to.